Planet Colony is a Celtic-inspired platformer that has puzzle mechanics, combat mechanics, and obviously platforming mechanics in injected in it. I'm uh, I'm Kelly. Uh, I've been at HitGrab for 10 years now. I'm the art director for Clan O'Connell. I'm Jake. Uh, I'm the lead game designer on Clan O'Connell. My name is Francisco. I am the team lead of the project, Clan O'Connell. Yeah, like I made uh, I made these designs about 12 years ago. Um, just something fun to play with in my, uh, in my blog. I'd always wanted to do something with them, but they were never really made for television or anything like that. But people seem to really respond well to it. When I started creating the idea of the game, I was just looking back at the games that I loved as a kid, you know, and I just wanted to recreate that, that same feeling of, you know, like you are immersed in this world. So I wanted to immerse myself or immerse others in this world. And when Francisco came to me with the idea of, of using them and creating the story around a game, it just seemed to make sense. And the whole thing just kind of fell into place. Uh, we're trying to hit our three pillars of platforming, puzzle, and combat, giving them all equal focus. And as well with the three different characters you can control and swap between, I think there's, it allows for a lot of creativity in how you play through the game. When we started actually putting it together and making it gel, Francisco's ideas, my ideas, and then Jake's ideas for gameplay all kind of work together to really make the characters make more sense. And, and I got really excited about the world we could make with it. There's a, a wealth of source material in the mythology. Uh, there's like tons of monsters that we've looked at as potential enemies. I could see these characters moving into different realms. Uh, I could see this world expanding even more. We, yeah, we'd love to be able to create more new levels and worlds and bosses and... and we could expand on gameplay and there's 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 so much more we could do with this so i could see this as just being the start of like a really really great uh franchise and the greatest strategy is that sometimes you work with a lot of effort and, and true passion and the game won't get the eyes and, and the hands that need to play it because we just cannot afford the marketing budget. So I do want through Kickstarter people to take a look at what we're building, make sure that you know our pro our efforts are being seen by those who we want them to play the game. Say it's got a team behind it that cares about what we're making. Like we're we're trying to make a game that we would all want to play. Uh, it's got a beautiful art style. Like it's great to look at. Me and 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 our other artist Sam have worked really really hard at the art, and we're. I, I just think we've got something really great looking, at least we hope so. Uh, and it's got a ton of variety, both in gameplay and in terms of the environments and, and experiences in the game. I hope this gets funded because I think it's it's got a lot of really original elements to it, and I think people would really enjoy it if they get a chance to play it. And that's why we are asking for money, just to, to bring that vision that we have to reality. And unfortunately, after this year with, uh, with COVID and everything, it's harder now than ever to get people to be able to see stuff. We don't have conventions to go to, so being funded on Kickstarter would help with our exposure and it would be one of the main ways that we could actually get in front of people and get them playing. Because I really think if they can if they can play it and we can get the game just as polished as we as we really want it to be, they're really gonna enjoy it. And um and yeah, that's, that's, I think, something worth investing on the passion of others.